Hello, welcome to a new exciting creature tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to introduce to you the new animated region order feature of creature. And to demonstrate this feature I have a sample scene for you which I've created. This sample scene consists of two characters. One of them is this totem object over here and the other, if I invis the totem object, you should be able to see that I have a bird, a flying swallow over here, okay? And it's behind the totem object. Okay, so let me just show the totem object again. And if I, pl if I play the animation, oh, by the way, um, I'm using the motion paths functionality of creature. So I've plotted out a path for the bird to fly through, okay? It's just a simple motion path. And the bird has a path bone molter attached to its root bone over here, okay? A path bone melter over here. So it's basically following the path. So if we play the animation, look at what happens. The bird follows the path, it's pretty cool, and flies off the screen. Only one problem though. The issue is, if I step through the frames, let's step through the frames, you notice that the bird actually flies behind the totem which is fine if that's the animation you want to do, right? If, if you want to make the bird fly behind a totem, sure. But what if we wanted a different kind of animation? We want the bird to start, start off behind the totem, all right? And then as it flies through in a loop, it should fly in front of the totem for some kind of fake depth or 3D effect. So we want it to start behind the totem object, but we want it to finish in front of the totem. Okay, so how do we solve this problem? Now, the way to solve this problem is with the new feature that was just recently added to the tool, and it's called the Animated Region Orders feature. So to activate the tool, click on Animate, and then move your mouse over to the menu item called Animate Region Ordering. So click on that, okay? And of course, it's blank because nothing has been set yet, but we're gonna set some keys. So first off, let's add a new region order at time zero. Okay, so now you see this is the default ordering. As you can see, the body parts of the bird, the back wing, the body, the wing are behind the totem, which is what we want, correct? But as it, the bird flies out, let me move this away. As the bird flies out, out of the totem, we want to shift, we want to move the totem behind the bird. So what do we do? Very easy. We just come in here, we add another keyframe for the region orders at frame 183. You can set any frame number you want, of course, but I'm going to set the keyframe at 183. And then I select the node here, the region order layer node over here. And all I need to do is to just to drag and drop the totem behind the body parts of the bird. Okay? And, and, and so now when I step through it, you see the bird is now in front of the totem as opposed to being behind the totem from before. Okay, so if we play the animation, if we play it now, you notice the bird now passes in front of the, of the totem, crucially. Let's try that again. Right? Okay, and so that's really all it is for this tutorial. This is the new animated regions ordering window functionality of Creature, and this basically allows you to keyframe region ordering values in your animation. You can do lots of operations. Of course, you can multi-select. You can cut, copy, paste these nodes. You can also change their time to a different keyframe if you want. So all the functionality you require to keyframe region or layer ordering is now available in Creature. And once you're done with this, once you're done with the animation, you're happy with it, you play it back, and then you can export into your favorite game engine. Now, the export functionality works just as per normal, except it exports a new extra file called uh, Creature Metadata JSON, which I will cover in the next two tutorials where I will show you how to integrate the new region ordering stuff into Unity or Unreal Engine or other game engines. So stay tuned for that. But for now, have fun animating and I hope you enjoy this new feature.